Finally, I've used all the spell schools. We learn about business. We learn about maths. English lit. Prisoners of geography. And finally, Hearthstone. What do we get for it? Five different spell schools. That's the reward? Fuck, I feel like a computer science student in 2024. Right, let's knock it out. What does a shaman do currently? Well, they are pretty non-existent, but they do have potentially two classes. We have Highlander Shaman, and we have what I've actually got at least 30 games on in the last couple of weeks, Evolve Shaman, which isn't as bad as you say. It's got a decent win rating. Now, first things first, let us look at the Evolve Taurus Legendary. We've got Carefree Cookie, three mana, two, two, Demon Hunter Taurus, after a friendly minion dies, summon a random minion that costs one more. Now, this inherently is going to be kind of good with some of the Demon Hunter stuff that you get. I'm looking at Patches the Pilot and Sigil of Skydiving. Why Sigil good, I hear you ask? Well, as an Evolve Shaman player, one thing I notice is that when I play the minions on the board, Threads of Despair picks them up instantly. What if they summoned on the turn that I could then hit face with the boys and then, I don't know, play Wave of Le wave of, uh, wave of of Legendary? Nostalgia. I think that's going to be pretty damn good, seeing as I think that the only thing stopping Shaman being a deck right now is Demon Hunter and Threads of Despair. The matchup against Paladin is just instantly good. Meta's going to change, new cards are going to come out. Evolve Shaman isn't a meme deck. I've been seeing a lot of bad press for Shaman online. It's not the worst class in the game. My worst class is Demon Hunter. When's the last time you saw a shop of Demon Hunter? They don't really exist anymore. First, let's look at some neutral cards for Pearls of Paradise that I think fit quite well in Shaman. I'm going to blitz through them because I'm going to do a solo review of the neutrals, but let's just look at it. Tidepool Pupil. Good for the Highlander. Three spells, put them back in. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe not an Evolve card. Slightly ambitious, snoozing Zookeeper. Play on 7, remove your guy, and if there is a cheap Evolve, bang, get you get an 8 drop and you've removed their board for it. It's, it could be awful, but it's worth considering. Terrible Chef is really good. It means that if they remove your board, which they want to do because they're like, oh, Shaman, they're going to Evolve them, I have to remove it. What? We get an egg popping out? W. Absolute W. Gorgonzumu get a 2-cost cheese that summons 3 1-cost minions. Obviously would be good because the 2-cost cheese, let's say you're playing some 4-drops, and then we're going to get those guys evolved. It's a good burst of minions. Shaman loves a good burst of minions. Also, naturally, Bumbling Bellhop is going to be good because you're going to be holding Wave of Nostalgia or Wish Upon a Star, which is going to give you two three threes. It's like double agent for Rogue. Now that you've seen that, I ask of you, how can this card be bad? Uh, even if you drop it on 10, very ambitious, I know, but Thorgan Drake is going to summon 2-1, two, 2-1 one, two, one Drake. They, they die, or is it 3-1 Drake? I don't know. They're two drops, you get three drops for them. I'm an arena player, so I know that card's pretty good. It's maybe not standard worthy yet. But I just mean there's going to be good stuff over the years, uh, over the year, two years it's in standard that's going to help this card. Uh, great card. One cool little interaction is that if you play Brass, you're a three man, three, three, Wind Fury, uh, Taunt, and uh, Divine Shield. Trade it off. There's a little high roll potential that you summon the frog, the 10 10 frog. Tell me that's bad. You can't. You can't. On the subject of the Taurus cards, though, it may not fit the Evolve deck, but you do have Skirting Death. Choose a minion this turn, your hero steals four attack from it. You have Horn of the Wind Lords, Wind Fury 3 3 weapon, and you've got Weapons Attendant, the p p p p pirate that can p p pull out of your deck. <laughs> Pick up a penguin, you stupid stammering. F and that'll be good with the pirates that you summon with your other Demon Hunter cards that you've stolen, like patches and. Um, Sigil of Diving is not nothing. One last thing to note is I think Paraglide is a really good card. Uh, maybe 
uh, it, it'll probably maybe get included in the deck. Three mana draw three. Sometimes make your opponent overdraw their... Uh... Why is the name escaping me? It's literally the meta warping card, the duplicate 10 mana hero. Reno? Fuck it. Yeah, you know the one. You've seen it enough times. So, for me, I'm a believer. But I don't think you'll get nerfed. I'm saying patches actually evolve shaman makes a viable deck. I think patches makes the deck viable. For the cards it brings, not the effect it has. Therefore, I'm still putting it as a four star card, even though I think the effect that it brings as an individual card isn't as that like crazy strong. But it is pretty good. While we're talking about Evolve, let's talk about matching outfits. Matching outfits is good. You're going to put in your Evolve deck, I think. It's lower than 5, which is good. That means that your Hagatha isn't pulling it out. I think that'd be annoying if it was. And there's, there is synergy with a card I'm about to say. Uh, but it, it doesn't have a tag. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. I think maybe a good thing, and we'll speak about that wine a little bit, but I, I don't think this is a crazy good card. I'm putting it at... I'm putting it at two. I don't think you play it with every Evolve... It's two stars. You don't play it with every Evolve deck. The card it kind of rolls into would be Melt Mental. Naturally, I think it's the Death Knight card that is in Shaman. Um... Because they want stuff permanent frozen. Morabi vibes. We don't really fuck with the frozens in Shaman. Uh, but Melter Mental is a torn. They trade into it. And then matching outfit. I mean who trades into stuff and then leaves it. It's already frozen. Actually this is a bad card. Because you can't attack with the Melter Mental. And then freeze it. And no one attacks into a torn that's frozen. If you don't kill it that turn. Knowing it's in a bowl Shaman. Therefore... How, but saying that philosophy, right? How easy is it for people to trade that over at 3 8? Also, Elemental Shaman's getting support with this Elemental that I forgot to mention. It's like a baby Sakaar. It's still pretty damn good, though. I don't think Mel Elemental gets played this set, one star, but it's got potential to be better. Subject of Evolve, the old Razzle Dazzle is up next. 7 mana 4-4 four, four, Naga. Summon a random 5 cost minion. Repeat for each spell you've cast this game. Do I think Spell School Shaman is a thing? No. But, if it was to be a thing, this would get played in it. And, with the current Evolve Shaman setup, we do have some different Spell Schools. You've got Nature. Frog, uh, a book of frog and the wave. You've got fire with jam session and potentially a jive if you're feeling a bit fruity. You've got arcane with wish upon a star and fell for sigil of skydiving from demon hunter. So there is a reasonable way that this summons four five fives. I mean, maybe if you're playing on seven, you haven't played some of the spell schools, uh, like arcane. Uh, the arcane is obviously a seven drop. But, realistically, it's going to be decent. Uh, therefore, I think it's better than matching outfits for the Evolve deck. It's a kind of big drop that you can play and you're okay with. Because sometimes you get to that 7 mana turn and you haven't got a board. So you don't want to wish upon a star on nothing. Because that's how you lose games, wishing upon a star when nothing's on board. Uh, Razzle Dazzle gives you the board. And a little bit more of a beefy board that's harder to clear. You know, Threads of Despair might not be killing 5 drops. Razzle Dazzle. 3 stars. Frost Decor. Is it control? It's just a token Frost Spell in a shit deck that we're not... You're going to see the payoff soon. You're going to be disappointed. But Frosty Decor is... I mean, it's 5 mana gain 16 in a way. 2-2-4 two, two, taunts with death rattle gain 4 armor. Blocks 8 damage to get through the taunts. Gives you 8 armor. 
16, but it's not, and it's bad, and it's a one star. It is a one star. Like, your best bet is that you reduce it, but, like, come on, do you want to be reducing that? I don't think so. Siren Song, let's talk about it. Get two random spells from classes you haven't cast this game. The payoff isn't there. Oh, fuck it. Let's let's handle the payoff. Um, We are talking about Cabinet Star. 5-5, five, five. well, this is your hand to play two different spell schools to transform. These are the spell schools. Now, now you're looking at it, I have to ask you, what is a shaman doing? A shaman is going to be playing fire and nature. What's fire and nature doing? You're getting a 5 mana 7-7 seven, seven, deal 6 to the face. Not just deal 6 anyway, deal 6 to the face. A legendary that does this, you have to play the things while it's in hand. You add it to the deck, but you don't build the deck around it. And the deck around it isn't worth the deck around it. Uh, therefore, Caress Cabinet Star. One star. Now, let's go back to Siren Song. Siren Song, maybe... I, I don't think Evolve Shaman, if Evolve Shaman is going to be a thing, it doesn't have time to like, oh, let's get some spells in hand so we can deal with the board till we get our thing going. No, it doesn't have that. You, you put stuff on board from turns one to five and then you win the game or you don't. And it, it wins the game more than you think. I, I, I implore you to go out and play some Evolve Shaman after you've watched this just to see what I'm talking about. It, it actually is a decently deck. It just fucking dies to thread so often. Um... Siren Song, one star. I went off script here, and I've I I have to fucking take it off because I was stupid. I've just jumped about. What what have I done? Why haven't I? Who said reviewing cards would be easy? Natural talent, bad card. I had I had a little I had a little bit of hope, then I really like really realised what it is. So you get so you're paying one mana, and you're getting two cards because you they cost one less. But a ra why don't you get to discover it? It's 2024. Why, why am I getting a random Naga on a random spell? Look to the Nagas. More than half are bad Nagas. 11 to 23 I put it at. The irony is, one of the somewhat okay Nagas, it puts the Naga and a spell in your hand and it blocks Outcast. It blocks Outcast. Even those little things... They couldn't just do spell them. I'm assuming this is how it works. That's how it's written on the card. They couldn't just, just fucking do that for the for the class, could they? Yeah, uh, natural talent, one star. You can't even high roll Queen Ajara. Like Queen Ajara isn't in standard anymore. So it's not like there's that. There's 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 Snake Eyes is maybe your best fucking your, your best elemental is the all oh, the 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 Amalgadon. That's your best. That's your best fucking Naga. Sorry. Headliner, two star. Let's get it out of the way. Reduce the cost of your spell of each school in your hand by two. I'm going to say you need to reduce the cost of three spells for this to be worth it. I don't want it to just pay for itself. I want it to get an additional benefit. Are we going to have three different spells of different classes in our shaman hand? Maybe if we're breaking our back to do so. And then they're random spells. Most likely if we're doing that with Siren Song. And that's not where we want to be. That's not good. I will say a caveat though. Specifically, it could be used to enable a Vol Shaman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We found a fucking way back to it with the uh, with the different spell schools card specifically. Okay. Wave, nature spell. Wish one a star, arcane spell. Five and seven comes down to three and five. When you haven't drawn off your Hagatha. I'm going to take care of that. We've got the headliner in hand. There, that is where it's getting its star from. I actually think... You pay it, you, you're you playing it on four and you're upset. But on... F but then on three... But then, then on five, you can play some shit. Maybe... It, I mean, it's... Rem on four, it's reducing your pirates... Your pirates are coming up on the turn you play it because you've just played it on the turn because it's less than one. Um, 
So turn five, you've got three pirates in play. You can play two cards. You've got two mana. Maybe you molted magma, which is coming up next, to remove some of their stuff, and then you wave. And no, look. I'm a believer. It's not going to be a good deck. That's why it's not getting four. It's not getting nerfed. It's not a five. I'm leaning towards three. I think you play this in Evolve Shaman. Which is a deck. Alright, it's a deck. Believe me. Which leaves us with Molten Magma. Molten Magma is a Highlander Shaman specific card. It's not going... You, If you're going to do it in your Evolve deck, you're going to play your 2 mana 3-3, three, three, deal 1, overload 1. Because then you can affect the board. You keep your totem alive, which summon in silver hand recruits. You know, you're doing shit like that. You want the Titan draws, overload cards. So the deal ones from there is good. Drawing it then. Actually, that's a notable point, by the way. There's no overload cards in the set, uh, which is interesting. There's no overload cards in a Shaman set. It's like they forgot the class identity. It's like Hearthstone forgot to be Hearthstone. Anyway, we don't care. Positivity around here. Um, Molted Magma. Good card doesn't fit into any deck right now. I don't... Once again, Spell School Shaman is not a thing. So, one star. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this review. I am a... I, uh, I'm an ev I love an Evolve Shaman. Do you remember when they absolutely broke the game with Desert Hair and the uh, weapon that evolved your shit? Or... Uh, was that were we doing that then? I don't know. I can't remember what we were doing with a desert hair. Maybe you can tell me in the comments. But I remember the desert hair fucking meta. Um, wow. Uh, I lie. It's just good. Oh, what legend am I gonna? I get a rush. I get to take your thing out and then evolve again. Oh, come on. You know you love it. You know you love it. So, uh, I'm a believer. That's probably skewed some of my ratings. Uh, Shaman potentially is an awful class and as bad as everyone else says. But I'd rather be a hopeful man than a pessimist. And with that, have a good day out there.